just doing a little bit of extra studying for a quiz. And I got a notification from for another world on a, on something about Kubo release it ending, and I was like, oh, maybe we got some information on what happened with that. So I went. Uh, he didn't link the article because he never linked the damn article. But whatever. I went. I found the translation of the article. I read it. And I'll be honest, I cried. This is sad. this is some really sad shit. But let me... <sighs> Bleach it, Mangaka. I'll link it down below. But it pretty much... What pretty much happens is that apparently... It, around Bleach's 10th anniversary, Kubo got sick. And he was felt he was failing as a Mangaka. And this kid... Who had gotten sick. His medicine had stopped working and he was hospitalized. And he had found out the disease was incurable. Which, this is just, I can only imagine. I mean, I've been in the hospital for but this. No, this, this kid had. What happened to this boy was not there, but. When, he was unable to do anything, enjoy anything. Because whenever he watched TV, played games, he be reminded of the time he spent with his friends. And then, he, of course, he learned his. his uncurable. So he thought, if he, he thought, why don't I just die right now? But he was told that the doctors, and I guess everybody wanted him to live out the, his, the last time, the last days he had, which was 18 months. So he chose to just start reading a shit ton of manga. And he eventually discovered Bleach. And apparently he liked Bleach so much, he loved the story, and he wanted to know what happened so much. It made him think about tomorrow again, and it gave him life again. Apparently, the boy had asked a letter containing this information to be sent to Kubo after his death. So in other words, from the time Kubo got this letter, the boy was dead. The letter ended with the word, Kubo Sensei, I have one final request. Please draw bleach the way you want to draw it, right until it reaches its conclusion. That's what I want to read. So, I'd like to say right now, anything I said about Bleach's ending being bad, I take back because you look up for an army article. He said he managed to write Bleach's final chapter the way he had decided to write it since chapter one. Now, when it comes to the pairing, that's for another video. It kind of kicking the ball to the pairing. Man, but that. But, uh, any criticism I, I'll say it now, please, it's ending is now a 10 out of 10 in my book. Because, what Kubo did here, was he took, what this, he took what this little boy said to heart. And he decided that he was going to write this story the way he wanted it to. So all the shit that we complain about, but George fight, but like spread pages, all of that. Maybe that's what Kubo wanted to draw. And you know what? If Kubo was really looking at it through this kind of, I'm going to like honoring this boy. I don't know if he was, if he, if it appeared he wanted to honor this boy. If he would, by doing what he wanted to do. By not giving a crap about what we as fans are looking for and writing it the way he wants to write it, he is honoring this little boy. He requests them. Which was one of his last ones, I would, which is probably one of his last ones. So, and you can't complain. It isn't like him. This makes complaining about shit and belief completely different. Because you know what? Now we know it has this information, and it's like, you know what? No, I'm not going to complain about this. And Kubo, at the end, he th at the end of his tweet, he tweeted all this on Twitter, by the way. He asked for people to help him find the one who wrote the letter. He understands that it is difficult and felt the request. However, I want to express my gratitude towards him because he is unable to read the thank you manga. This is just, sorry, I have to look at my phone. This is, this is beautiful.
and any crap I gave Legion ending, I mean, I'm not, I, I mean, I'm not going to say, I, I'm not going to say my, my reviews were not wrong. I won't say that. But I will say, anything I'm pissed about with the ending, I now, none of that anger is toward Kubo anymore. And anything that's ever picked me off, at least, I'm not mad at Kubo as a person. I'm not mad at him. I don't blame him. I, if something is bad, I'll still say it's bad. But, no, no, you can, no, I'm not ever going to blame Kubo for anything. And this just makes me even more so just upset with Jump. For canceling a theory that had impacted people's lives like this. Bleak for me was just something I liked to read. Alright, it was a it was, it was out of all the big manga that I read, the one I cared, to, honestly, I cared the least about. But I still really did like it, and I really did enjoy it. And the, just to see something that people care this much about, treated like shit. By jump, like treated being shitted on by jump, it, it, it's upsetting. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Link to the article article will be in the description box down below. Whether you like Bleach or you don't, you can't deny Kubo is a great man. And this is a and and you know what? The fact that he wrote a story and, and gave the like, just the fact that what he did for this little boy, that enough to make you respect Cooper.